All right, well, this is for one of my commenters that's having a lot of trouble getting a pulse motor to work. And I've seen this happen many times where the builder makes it too complicated to work and it works and works and works trying to make this expensive or complicated pulse motor work. When you don't have to do that when you're starting out, just build a really, really simple one. And this is uh, what I call a kitchen countertop a reed switch pulse motor. And uh, the little arrow thing is the reed switch. When the magnet goes by that, uh, it pulls the switch closed, completes the circuit, and electromagnetic electromagnet pushes the magnet around or pulls it around. And when you start building these things, whatever coil you've got, hook a battery to it and see if it'll push the magnet. Just put the magnet on something slippery and see if your magnet was pushed by the coil and the power source. If it won't push that on a slick surface, the rotor's never going to turn. If it does that, then just put some magnets on a rotor that's low friction and put a switch on it of some kind. It can be electronic or a contact commutator or something. This is a reed switch, what they call a proximity magnetic reed switch. And, and see if your motor will run. Now, I could take the same configuration and run this electronically or with a photodiode or whatever, but this is a real simple way to grasp the concept of a pulse motor. When the magnet goes by that switch, it closes the switch, the circuit's completed, the electromagnet pushes the rotor around. I'll show you how it works. And that's a kitchen countertop, no soldering, no nothing, put together with tape. I've just taped these components together. You notice the LED going there? This is the flyback. This is the collapsing of that coil that's causing that LED to light up using just a AA battery. Now that LED won't light up with a AA battery. You have to use this flyback from the coil. And if you just move the magnet over the reed switch, you can uh, make that LED go just by opening and closing that switch. It's the back spike that causes that LED to go. But anyway, uh, in my comment to the gentleman, I suggested he just take a piece of cardboard and put some magnets on it and it might work so I thought I'd better see if that was even possible and it is and that's just two magnets um, I put the nail through the cardboard and then um, made a bushing using crazy glue and you put the crazy glue on it and it makes a plastic bushing when it sets up make sure it's really loose you have to have a, a sliding thing for it here otherwise there's too much friction but I wanted to see if this would actually work and it does. I mean, you can build this up 30 minutes on your kitchen countertop if you have the components. Now, this proximity switch, you get it on eBay. The coil is 30 gauge magnet wire wound up on a sewing bob and just fill it up. It measures about 10 ohms. And then, of course, that's just a AA battery. Here again, no solder, no battery holder. It's all done with tape. And the infamous craft stick. I've had a lot of fun building these projects using those craft sticks. So anyway, that's my little kitchen countertop um, pulse motor. I'm Lid Motor. This is the 23rd of September 2014. Thanks for watching.